Chapter 1 Advanced Feature of Excel Learning Outcomes At the end of this chapter, students will be able to Make charts in Excel Recognize the components of a chart Format charts and sort data in a worksheet Warm up Observe the following chart carefully. What does it represent? Teachers note Guide students with the help of a chart to easily understand the data and compare values. Hey friends, let's learn how to make charts using the data from the worksheet. In order to efficiently handle a big amount of information in spreadsheets, Excel offers several extremely helpful functions including charts, sorting and filtering data. Humans are visual learners. Therefore, when give reference visual points, their understanding is enhanced. One efficient way to represent data in a pictorial form is through charts. We can easily understand and compare data values with the help of charts. Charts depends on the data of a worksheet. When the information in the spreadsheet changes, the chart is immediately updated, making a chart. As stated above, in order to insert a chart in a worksheet, we need to add some data to it. Follow the given step to make a chart in Excel. Steps Let me answer. Have you ever made a chart in your mathematics class? 1. Select the data from which you want to make a chart. 2. Click on the Insert tab. 3. In the Charts group, click on See all charts button to open the insert chart window. 4. Click on the all charts tab and from the list of charts shown in the left pane select column. 5. Click on the ok button to insert the chart in the worksheet. Elements of a chart Various elements of a chart are 1. Chart area all the area and other objects of a chart are included in the chart area. 2. Category axis. The horizontal area of a chart is called the X axis or category axis. 3. Value axis. It is the vertical axis which is used to plot the values and is called the Y axis. 4. Data series. Data series consists of the bars, slices, lines or additional elements that show the data values. 5. Category Name The label visible on the X and Y axis are the category names. 6. Plot Area A window within the chart area is the plot area. 7. Legend Colors Patterns or symbol assigned to the data series are depicted by legends. Let me answer. Define X axis and Y axis. Formatting a chart. The look of the chart is enhanced by formatting. Chart elements, chart styles and chart filters can also be formatted. We can also change the numbers on the value axis and hide or show grid lines. Changing the title of a chart Follow the given step to edit the chart title Steps 1. Click on the chart line 2. Right click on the chart title placeholder The pop-up menu will appear 3. From the pop-up menu select the edit text option 4. Add the new chart title and press the ESY key Editing chart elements Titles, labels, guidelines and data labels can be edited. Follow the given steps to edit the elements. Do you know? Select the data in the worksheet and press the F11 key to create a chart instantly. Steps 1. Click on the chart. 2. The following pane will be displayed. Click to edit titles, labels, grid lines and data labels. Click to edit chart styles and color schemes. Filter the values. Editing categories in a chart. Follow the given step to edit categories of the chart. Steps 1. Click on the chart. 2. Click on the filter button. 3. 
Select the categories option and unselect one from the panel. For click the apply button and see the changes. Formatting legends. Follow the given steps to edit the legends in the chart. Steps 1. Right click on the legend. 2. From the pop up menu, select the format legend option to open the format legend panel. 3. Click on the fill and line option. 4. Select the solid fill option. 5. From the color drop down list, select the color of your choice. Sorting data. Sorting is a feature in MS Excel that helps you organize data. You can sort a text column in alphabetical order A to Z or Z to A. We can sort a numerical column from largest to smallest or smallest to largest. We can also sort a date and time column from oldest to newest or newest to oldest. Follow the given step to sort the given data. Steps 1. Select the range of cells containing the data to be sorted. 2. On the data tab in the sort and filter group, click on the sort option to open the sort dialog box. 3. From the sort by drop down list, choose the column which you want to sort. 4. Select the values option from the sort on drop down list. 5. From the order drop down list, choose the order of sorting largest to smallest option. 6. In the sort dialog box, click on the add level button to add a new level below the first level. 7. Specify the column name as mentioned in the sheet by drop down list and order of sorting as A to Z in the order drop down list in the new level. Filtering data. Filter temporarily hides some of the data in a table, so you can focus on the data you want to see. Follow the given steps to filter data. Remember it. Ensure that the items of each data type in a column is identical before filtering the data. Steps 1. Select the data you need to filter. 2. On the data tab, click on the filter option in the sort and filter group. 3. The filter arrows appear next to each column's heading. 4. Click on the arrow next to the column to specify a condition. 5. A drop-down list appear which provides many options for filtering data. 6. Select the check boxes of the value based on which you would like to filter the data and clear all the other check boxes. 7. Click OK. 8. Observe the list which is filtered according to the chosen criteria. Get PsyQ. Sangam has created a chart that shows the grades he received in several exams. He immediately realized that he needed to modify the colors and symbol used to represent the data series after creating the chart. Which part of the chart should he use to make the sum changes? Let's recall. The chart is immediately updated when the information in the spreadsheet changes. The labels visible on the X and Y axis are the category names. The horizontal area of a chart is called the X axis or category axis. Data series consist of the bars, slices, lines or additional element that show the data values. The look of the chart is enhanced by formatting. Sorting is a feature in MS Excel that helps you organize data in a particular order. Filter temporarily hides some of the data in a table, so you can focus on the data you want to see. Upskill your intelligence. A. Fill in the blanks. 1. Charts depends on the data of a dash. Answer. Worksheet. 2. The area and other object of a chart are included in the dash area. Answer. Chart. 3. Category axis is also called as dash. Answer. X axis. 4. A window within the chart area is the dash area. Answer. Plot. 
file dash just temporarily hides the data answer filter b write t for true statements and f for false statements one the axis is a vertical axis answer false two the look of the chart is enhanced by formatting answer true three Titles, labels and grid lines cannot be edited. Answer false. 4. Filter helps you organize data in a particular order. Answer false. 5. Formatting improves the appearance of a chart. Answer true. C. Answer the following questions. 1. Explain any three elements of a chart. Answer elements of a chart. 1. Chart Area All the area and other objects of a chart are included in the chart area. 2. Data Series Data series consists of the bars, slices, lines or additional elements that show the data values. 3. Legend Colors, patterns or symbols assigned to the data series are depicted by legends. 2. What do you mean by filtering? Answer. Filtering. Filter temporarily hides some of the data in a table so you can focus on the data you want to see. 3. Write down the steps to sort data. Answer. Step to sort data. 1. Select the range of cells containing the data to be sorted. 2. On the data tab in the sort and filter group, click on the sort option to open the sort dialog box. 3. From the sort by drop down list, choose the column which you want to sort. 4. Select the values option from the sort on the drop down list. 5. From the order drop down list, choose one order of sorting largest to smallest option. 6. In the sort dialog box, click on the add level button to add a new level below the first level. 7. Specify the column name as mentioned in the sheet by drop down list and order of sorting as A to Z in the order drop down list in the new level. 4. State the difference between sorting and filtering. Answer Difference between sorting and filtering. Sorting 1. Sorting helps you organize data. Filtering 1. Filtering temporarily hides some of the data in the table. Sorting 2. It helps in sorting text in alphabetical, numerical, oldest to newest or newest to oldest order. Filtering 2. It does not help in ordering a text. Sorting 3. Sorting does not enable the hiring features. Filtering 3. It enables you to focus on the data of your choice. 5. Write the step to change the title of a chart. Answer. Steps to change the title of a chart. 1. Click on the chart title. 2. Right click on the chart title placeholder. The pop-up menu will appear. 3. From the pop-up menu select the edit text option. 4. Add the new chart title and press the ESC key. Critical thinking. Ramesh is the head of the accounts department in the organization. He has made an Excel sheet which displays the name, designation, salary and bonus of each employee. However, he is asked to show the sheet to one of his colleagues but is not allowed to disclose the bonus given to each employee. Suggest to Ramesh how he can hide the specific data. Answer: Ask students to do it by themselves. Team Work Work in pairs. Imagine your school has organized an inter-class race. In sheet 1, add the name and timings of the player in team A. Further, add the names and timings of the player in team B in sheet 2. Answer, ask students to do it by themselves.